up guys, Carriage 13 and this morning we are getting prepped for the, the metal going up on the wall between the offices and the shop. So really excited about that. But um, if I'm walking around funny, I did leg day this morning and I'm sore. I'm super sore. But anyways, uh, got uh, some lights in the back of the truck. I'll show y'all. All right, so these are the lights. One with the 150 watt, 22,000 lumens. That's what we're all about, I guess. Uh, 15. <laughs> oh, that's the hook. <laughs> oh, man. And I went with the black one to kind of match the ceiling and everything. Yeah. All snap. Gosh, I can't even look at it. <laughs> a lot of light. That's pretty darn right. Whoa. Going up to heaven. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Yeah, I guess two on each side and then three in the middle and stuff. Wish I had a toggle switch. And these are dimmable too, I forgot. All right, well, let me get down from here safely. And down we go. So this is uh, about the height from the second floor. Uh, this is about the height if I was looking at that window down below the shop. Back to earth. Today is the next day. Got a call this morning that some things were getting delivered, but uh, their 18-wheeler can't get into where we're at, working at right now. They can't get in with everything that's going on right now with the shop. And so I'm up here in Monroe picking this up. And I really don't know what it is. They just told me it's a wooden box, 200 pounds or something like that. I think I have a good idea of what it is, but to know exactly, not sure. I guess we'll figure out here in a minute when I pull in. I think I'm, I'm a mile away. All right, so they told me to pull around back to somewhere back here. Let's see what it is. I don't know anything that's gonna be 200 pounds from what I've ordered. Oh, there's the ramp. Oh, yeah, let me move some stuff. Use the old man step because I did leg day yesterday. And I can't barely walk. Hopefully that's enough space. Let me know what y'all think about the fuel tank setup. Pretty clean. Oh, there it is. Oh, let me uh, collapse this real quick. I have no idea what the sucker is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's me. Should we put it the long ways? Yeah. Should be good. But yeah, that's perfect. All right, that sounds good. It's about 200 pounds. 395. All right. Hey, what's your name? Bliss. B L I S S. All right, appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Have a good one. All right, let's check this out. Eh. It should work. I'll just keep my eye on it. All right, we made the voyage back into town. Ended up staying pretty good back there. All right, let's see how it looks with the metal. Oh, snap. I think they got that whole wool up. Let's see how she looks. This is Colby's truck that we got him a leveling kit on. Oh, they may be all going to lunch. Yep, I think they're all going to lunch. Let me know what y'all think of this. So, picking up 300 and whatever pounds it is would be probably a difficult task, especially in the truck and it being jacked up in the back and all that stuff. So, um, went ahead and just picked up the skid steer and now we're heading over to the shop and gonna play a little musical 
trucks and trailers and stuff because I've got to take off the skid steer, then unhook the trailer, then I can get onto the truck and get the pallet and then take it off, unload it, then hook the truck back up to the trailer and then put the skid steer back on the trailer. So yeah, I don't know if you caught on to that, but anyways, it's gonna be a lot of moving around. But I'm excited to tear open this box and see what's inside of it. All right, step one, take off the skid steer. Done. Step two, unhook the trailer. Come on, get off that ball. I swear I'm gonna get an electric jack one of these days. There we go. All right, step three, move the truck away. That should be about good. The e-brake down. All right, next step, let down the tailgate. All right, and then next step, I guess I need to put the, maybe the forks a little bit closer together. Maybe this fork. Eh, we'll see how wide it gets. Well, let's see how the reach goes. Hopefully, it'll be able to reach it. I'm gonna have to bring them together. Ah, we're a little closer together now. Let's give it a whirl. Risky business here. I might need to kind of stand up in my skid steer. I can't see. There we go. I can see through this little hole right here. Feather it down just a little bit. Slow and steady. I'm literally using my elbow right now to move forward. Alright. Let's see if we can go up with it. Voila! Alright, easy on back, easy on back, easy on back. Alright, I'm gonna sit on the tailgate and reconvene. Alright. Oh yeah, we're golden now. We are golden. Next step, take it back towards the shop. Right, let me bring this sucker down. All right, there we go. All right, package has been delivered. All right, now time to take it on back. Tight squeeze. All right, now back around the trailer, not to hit Colby's truck. All right, now I'm gonna hook the truck back up to the trailer so I can put the skids here back on, and then we'll go and take a look at that box there. One thing about the Ford compared to the Chevys is the tailgate that goes up by itself on the high country. Wish I had that. All right. Right there. Put the e-brake on so don't move much. Let's see how we did. Oh, so close. All right, what I do is put it down just a little bit. So rest on that thing. And then just move it back just a smidge. Release the brake. Let me see if I can do this at the same time. All right, so just barely moved it back. Let's see. Looks, oh yeah, that looks great. So now what I do is I put it down to where it just about stops. Now it's inside the coupler, but it's on the back side of that coupler. And then I scoot it forward and drive for a second. There we go. Should have moved it up forward. Yep, Let's see how it's centered now. And lock this in. Close. back up all right finally got done chaining everything back up on that thing and now for the fun part the reason why i did all this stuff before i even went and checked it out is because for me i always like doing the hard stuff first and then getting to the fun stuff you know you hear the saying thou shall not work thou shall not eat thou shall not 
do that stuff, then thou shall not see what's in the box. So that's what I went by. So here we go. Whoa. What y'all think about that? That's different. All right, let's check out this magical box. I don't know what I need. I guess I need a flathead or something. You're having fun on that thing, aren't you? <laughs> Pretty neat tool trailer setup. We got a workbench kind of deal in here. Place where they put their saw, their blades, their harnesses, masks, Dewalt. And then back here was put all their brooms and shovels and all that stuff. So what I'm looking for is a flathead screwdriver. You know what? This crowbar will work perfectly. All right, let's use this. Okay, the moment of truth. Here we go. If I can find a place to open it. Okay, time for Mr. Crowbar. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. You see what that says? Yeah, let's go. This has got to be just one part of it. Oh, like my new toy. It's a wheel balancer or tire balancer. Balancing machine. Yeah. I didn't know what it was. It was just in a box. 